What is going on you guys? It's your host Galadon. Thank you for stopping by Galadon Gaming. This is the Galadon 1000. This will be the tournament that happened yesterday uh, that many of you got to join in who were watching the video. And I'm going to make this more of a regular occurrence putting videos in, or putting tournaments rather, in videos. And uh, so what we're doing here is just checking out the end of the last 10 or 15 minutes of this tournament, which actually turned out to be really exciting. Uh, the number of people watching these battles was pretty high. I feel like a lot of people maybe that caught the video a little bit later, that didn't get the hashtag notification squad notification, uh, showed up and watched the end of the tournament, which again was pretty close. But hey, if you guys are subscribed, you're going to be getting into more and more tournaments. And obviously, if you're following me on Mob Crush, that is the place to be because I start tournaments there when I'm not traveling like I am today, just about every single day. The good news, I will be home tomorrow, and I promise you guys on Mob Crush tomorrow, tons of tournaments. Or tomorrow, wait, what's today? Today's Sunday, tomorrow's Monday, tomorrow today is, tomorrow will be today, tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow is Tuesday. Tuesday, big tournaments. And every day of the week after that, lots of crazy stuff coming. We've got the King's Cup, North American Open, all sorts of crazy tournaments. I'm casting one uh, in LA in about a week and a half. And uh, more crazy stuff, another trip to Finland coming very soon. So stay tuned, you guys. I've got all sorts of stuff, and I'm definitely planning on involving as many of you guys as I possibly can with gift cards, with tournaments, and with whatever else we can come up with so all right so we're just about down to the end of this battle that one guy had a pretty strong a pretty commanding lead over this tournament when we went into this battle and it looks like he is going to maintain it looks like he may just about get that other tower down final seconds he is ahead 2-0 so the tower on the right doesn't matter turns out he's going to manage to defend it anyway and in the final seconds closing out a big 2-0 victory so Immediately as this wraps up, we are going to pop back out into the standings. There you can see it ends in just 10 minutes, and there that one guy is. He's got a serious lead. I mean, at this point, with less than 10 minutes, we're thinking, you know, 40 trophies is a big lead for a 1,000-player tournament, but obviously these other guys are not done. So we go in and we're going to check out Roy Tan, who just grabbed a crown off of his opponent. So it's looking good for the second place player. You can see this, his opponent not real happy about that. And uh, he is definitely working on this guy's King's Tower. Doesn't look like he's going to have a chance to come back. Look at this defense on the left hand side. Beautiful use of the Ice Spirit. The Musketeer doing double duty, helping to take down the Hog Rider. And uh, a great counter right there as the Golem moves ahead down the right hand lane. Desperation Fireball right there, you kind of know what's happening. With 30 seconds left, there's really no chance of his opponent coming back. So Roy Tan is going to close the gap right here and get closer to that first place mark and close that big 40 trophy gap that we saw between first and second. And this tournament is going to take some twists and turns, no doubt. All right, so Roy Tan wrapping it up, final 15 seconds. Looks like a big push down the right-hand lane, but the Golem is there. Lots of stuff to defend and not quite going to happen. Time is going to run down, and uh, I'm going with good manners. I think the good game, good luck between these guys was definitely some good manners, and I have to say, I saw a lot of that during this tournament. Really happy to see people being good sports, not just enraged faces everywhere. So that one guy went back into another battle. Roy Tan won, closed the gap down to about 20 trophies, and we go into that one guy's battle about 30 seconds in. Again, he's facing another Lava Hound deck, and again, doing a good job of countering that Lava Hound right there, preventing just about any damage at all to the tower. So one of the things I like about these tournaments is that there is some strategy that happens right at the end. Uh, do you push harder? Do you try to move up another rank? Do you have to defend against that second place player? Uh, you have to watch and see who is battling whom and also who is battling at all. Some guys will sit back and just not go at all. Now here's another strategy I love to watch. The old cross lane princess deploying her on the left and using her to defend whatever is pushing on the right. Now she moves off to the left. Check it out, well over 100 people watching this match and a kind of unusual for a tournament that's not being live streamed. So that was kind of exciting to see and definitely made me want to start more of these for you guys. So definitely look for more tournaments like this happening as I squeeze passwords into videos. All right, so Hog Rider moving down the right lane. The Skeleton Army gets wiped out. So Skarmy, very popular, 
but not working out real well right now for that one guy. As the Hog does get in though, and gets that tower down pretty severely damaged. Another cross lane princess, check her out. She's going to help make sure the Mega Minion doesn't get there, but the minor, minor good counter to the princess gets in there and takes the princess down. That allows the Lava Hound to get in, and the princess really ideal for working on the Lava Pups. One shot from a princess and the Zap Spell, and all the pups are down. Here, that one guy is going to have to deal with those pups as the Hound goes down. The Skeleton Army does a good job because it keeps all of the pups from converging on the tower. They get distracted, they wander around. As you can see, one went all the way back across the water and really not a lot of damage to that one guy's tower. Again, another princess goes down. Ice Wizard to defend against the miner. Arrows quickly take her out. Mega Minion dangerously heading after the tower, but it's not going to get there. The Ice Wizard doing a great job of stopping that one. And then right there, it kind of looked like the Ice Spirit popped out of the helmet of the uh, Mega Minion. Anyway, I don't know. That's what it looked like to me. So the Hog Rider getting distracted by the Tombstone. The Skeleton Army as well. Not a one is going to get to the tower. Another Cross Lane Princess. An immediate counter with the Miner. And that's going to prevent, again, the Princess from doing her job. The Mega Minion is going to get in there. And this doesn't look good, you guys. This is not good. The Mega Minion, and that is it. That one guy has lost right as we went into overtime. And that is going to change things up on the leaderboard significantly going into the final, where are we? Uh, five, five, less than six minutes of this battle. Roy Tan taking the lead. That one guy has gone back in to battle again. And here is Roy Tan. Ten seconds, less than ten seconds left. It looks like he's grinding a good game from his opponent, but Roy Tan is going to lose as well. Time runs out. And here we go again. Look at all the good manners. I love this. Good luck. Good game. I like to see this. Good to see in my tournaments, but Roy Tan loses, so we will pop back out, and things are going to change yet again. That one guy on top, Roy Tan has dropped to third. Five minutes left, he's back into another battle. We've got Gabriel in second place, and so we're going to check out Gabriel's battle. Not looking good for Gabriel. Five minutes to go, and a Raging King. Both of his towers severely damaged, so Gabriel temporarily moving up into second place. And the other big thing about these tournaments is, you guys, you really only get a significant card reward for top three finishing. The top three guys get a big card reward and it gets severely diluted below that. And I have to tell you, personally, not happy about that. I've given that feedback to the Clash Royale team and I'm really hoping that we see maybe at least one more step to these tournaments that's a larger gem investment that more players can get larger amounts of cards out of but we'll have to see. Obviously, they were trying to prevent the whole selling of tournament slots that we saw so much after the first tournaments went out. Remember, the early tournaments for 1,000 players, it was $1,740 to start one of those tournaments. Now it's about $70. All right, back to the battle. Gabriel not looking good. 45 seconds left. He's made really no inroads, and here comes... Here comes the Expos on defense, and that's just, I mean, that's enraging to anybody. So, obviously, we didn't get to see the offensive Expo earlier, but the defensive Expos, not something you see every day. Inferno Towers and Expos, and uh, Gabriel, you can see he's pretty upset. A second Expo goes up, insult to injury. I just, oh man, and log after log rolling down the lane as well. And uh, just, oh, and then a good luck. Come on. Okay, after so many good manners, we see bad manners from a member of Phone Cheetahs. Tisk tisk. But we move on and we're going to check out that one guy battling again against Dark Knight this time. Log taking out the princess. Damage on that right lane tower. Lots of people pouring into this one. Over 155, 150, 160 spectators are watching this one right now. So you can tell there was a lot of excitement generated by the video, I guess. And so that was exciting. Check out the rocket. Rocket wiped out the mini P.E.K.K.A. Allowing that Hog Rider to get in there. And okay, so we've gone from really good manners to pretty much solid BM uh, for the rest of this entire tournament. And it doesn't look good for that one guy. Lots of damage on that right lane tower. He's trying to come back. But it looks like maybe overtime is going to happen, but it won't be a long overtime. Here comes the Hog Rider and a log, the Mega Minion, the Ice Wizard, everybody converging on this tower. There is the three minute overtime, but not a lot of hit points left. And sure enough, here comes the painful rocket ending the battle. And that is also ending the hopes for that one guy to win this tournament. So we're going to back out and take a look and see where we stand now. That one guy, he's dropped way down. 
we've got uh, Roy Tan at the top. And uh, so you could see that it really is a dramatic difference. Check out the card rewards there, the difference between first and fourth place. It is a huge difference. Now we've got two minutes left, and that guy in first place, Roy Tan, he's got like a close to 30 trophy lead, so he's thinking, do I battle, do I dare, do I need to one more time? Obviously the second place guy has started to battle, so Roy having to decide whether or not it's worth it, you don't know exactly how many trophies that second place guy is going to pick up. Will he be able to pass him? We're going to drop into that battle and check it out as he goes against Swag Moolah here in the final two minutes of the tournament. Now spectators start to pour in and you can bet that Roy Tan, if he's not in another battle right now, he is watching as well. He has a vested interest in this battle. It's going to be tough. Does he gamble? If I'm Roy right now, I probably don't go after one more battle. I sit and wait and hope that if somehow this Will guy manages to win, that he doesn't win enough trophies to pass me. So we'll see what happens. Obviously there's no time for another battle after this, and it looks like Will making some great damage. Oh my gosh, he's just about to take two towers down at the same time, and he does! Almost simultaneously left and right towers in this battle pretty much over as soon as it began. Uh, you can see the spectators not building up now. Anybody that comes in is going to see that this has pretty much been concluded. Almost no way to come back. So we're going to pop out and take a look. And Roy Tan has decided not to go for it. He is not going to try to win another battle. And you can see that Will is in third place. And Loco Jason here in second. 317 trophies against 342, I think it was. So he is 25 trophies behind. So if he wins 25 trophies with this battle, and it looks like he has a big lead right here, see, he will tie. So he needs 26 to win the tournament. 26 trophies, and it's going to be close. It looks like Jason Tan decided, nope, I'm just going to gamble. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Yes, I did just say that. And it's up to Loco Jason whether or not he can win this battle and win 26 trophies and take over that first place spot as time is running out. Now, Loco Jason is playing that player there and uh, it looks like it's going to be a tough battle again you can see about a minute and 20 seconds left over 65 66 people watching this one right now but we're going to back out take one more look okay so roy tan he's done the tournament technically is over so nobody else is going to be playing will in second you can see we've got hero in third and down in fourth now is loco so this is up to loco jason can he move up and take over he could move technically from 4th to 1st, 4th to 1st, he can move from 4th to 1st place if he wins 26 trophies in this battle right here. So it's going to be close, and there is the tower on the right-hand side, so it's looking solid for Loco Jason. Can he pick up 2,000 cards? The arrow's too late, you can see it looks good. That is a solid counter to the Lava Hound, the Minion Horde working hard. The Fireball is not going to stop the Minion Horde. There they are, the Skeletons as well. The Lava Pups pretty much not getting any damage okay very little damage on the tower but another hound goes down but he's only got 30 seconds to try to get to this tower so much in his way such a deadly combination the lava hound miner but the miner gets wiped out by the mini pekka another cross lane princess taken down by the arrows but that minion horde once again they're perfectly positioned sure enough pretty much 1v1 all of the lava pups a last second last ditch desperation attempt down the opposite lane it's not going to happen time is going to run out and loco jason where does he finish does he grab the trophies to take over first place we will check it out as soon as we can here there it is the win and no he's he's going to finish oh my gosh so close right behind roy tan loco jason is going to grab second place and congratulations to all of you guys that won cards in this Galadon 1000. I am definitely planning on doing more of these, so stay tuned, stay subscribed, and I'm going to try to make sure that, again, every single person that follows me on mobcrush.com slash Galadon gets into a tournament. That is my guarantee. If you follow me there, you've downloaded the app, which is free, and you come to my streams, you will get in one of my thousand player tournaments. It's going to happen. Also, if you're subscribed to the channel, you're going to get in more as well. Thank you guys again, as always, for your time. I appreciate every last one of you. Hashtag Galafam. Hashtag Galamomlove. I am feeling it, and we all appreciate it very much here. I love you guys. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I hope to see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks.
every single person that's a, that that that's a little bit of 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 a little